Question 15. The diagram below shows or represents the water cycle. So if we take a look here, we have water bodies and then process A takes place before it is changed to water vapor and then process B takes place and it is changed to clouds and finally the water drops as rain before going into the water bodies again. So first let us identify what is process A and what is process B. For process A, for the water bodies to be changed to water vapor, this process is known as evaporation. For process B, for water vapor to be changed to clouds, this process is known as condensation. So let's take a look at the question here. Based on the diagram, which one of the following statement is correct? So let's take a look at option 1. Process A takes place only during the day. Well, if you look at evaporation, it should take place at every moment of time. So, for option 1, is not the correct answer. Let's take a look at option 2. Heat is lost by the water vapor during process B. During process B, heat is lost before clouds are formed. This is actually true. Because for condensation to take place, the water vapor actually loses heat during the process before clouds are formed. So option 2 is a possible answer. Looking at option 3, during process A, heat is lost to the surrounding, which is not true. During process A, heat is actually gained from the surrounding before evaporation can take place. So option 3 is out. Option 4, water in the clouds changes state and fall as rain. Water in the clouds does not change state, but it drops as rain and goes into the water bodies. So option 4 is also out. It doesn't change state because these clouds includes water droplets and the water droplets will drop as rain. So answer which is left is option 2. So answer is 2. Heat is lost by water vapor during process B.